Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I have seen all of Fallout. So this is going to be a spoilery video. I'm just going to sort of talk openly about the show. I have done a non-spoiler discussion about the first episode. Uh, I guess I'll leave a link to that in the, in the description if you want to go check that out. But uh, you should only watch this video if you've seen the show or if you don't care. If, if you don't care, uh, if you're, you're one of those heathens that just likes to spoil stuff for yourself... I mean, I'll take the view, so go ahead and subscribe and like the video while you're at it. But yeah, overall, I really loved the uh, the first episode, and uh, I'm happy to report that the show is pretty consistently great <laughs> the whole time. Although I will say the ending is a little... Like, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike it, um, and I'm definitely excited to see where the show goes in season two, but there were a little things where I'm like, I'm not so sure about but like exactly what's going on there. But I'll, I'll get to that eventually. The first thing I wanted to talk about are the characters, because of course the show has three protagonists. You got Lucy, Maximus, and uh, the ghoul. Uh, I'll start right off with Lucy. Really loved her all throughout the show. I think it's pretty important to have a character like this in the world of Fallout, right? You have this sort of beacon of light <laughs> amidst all of the horrific apocalyptic tragedy i really like seeing a character like lucy that is very just good in nature and optimistic about the world and kind hearted having her moral code tested <laughs> constantly throughout the series and and i really like how it got to that point where she was in that facility where they were gonna like steal her organs or something and she escapes from that place and she gives the ghoul like his medicine and she tells him that I may end up looking like you, but I will never be like you. She was great and obviously she she doesn't remain the same throughout the series, right? She gets a bunch of revelations about her father and, and this sort of propagandistic version of America that she's been fighting for. And I like that even though her sort of reality gets shattered, those core beliefs that she genuinely believes, right, about kindness and hope for the future, she still has those. Maximus was also a consistently engaging character. One thing that this show does really well is um, setting up mysteries that you really want to solve. And with Maximus, it was consistently like, are you like a psychopath? <laughs> or like, are you kind of like misunderstood? Because... You know, at right at the beginning of the show, you kind of get faced with this question of, like, did he chop off his friend's foot? <laughs> like, he even admits to wanting that to happen, like, deep down inside of him. But it's like, did he actually do it? And then, obviously, at the end of the series, it gets revealed that he didn't do it. But he did leave that guy to die, the Titus guy. Although, to be honest, I, do I don't blame him. It's one of those things where it's like, should he have given him the medicine? Sure. But that guy was asking to die by being an asshole. So it's like, honestly, Maximus, you get a pass on that one. And sure, he did crush that guy's foot as well. But they made up. And it's also kind of understandable because it's like, if that guy goes off and tells the Brotherhood of Steel, it's like, he's going to die. <laughs> they will hunt down and kill Maximus. So even though he definitely did like morally wrong things, in the post-apocalyptic wasteland of Fallout, Lucy puts it very well. Maximus is about as good as you can <laughs> that you can find in the apocalypse, which is very true. So it's like I don't know, like I can't, I can't sit here and ultimately be like, "Oh, Maximus, you're a, you're a horrible person." It's like you're probably one of the better people <laughs> living in the wasteland at this point. So yeah, Ma Maximus was a consistently good character the entire time. And yeah, the ghoul is a character that was always entertaining to watch. Obviously, Walton Goggins is consistently giving an entertaining performance. Anytime he's like being a badass, it's like that's that's fun. But throughout most of the season, the actual like engaging aspect of the ghoul is whenever they would use him to flashback to the past and learning more about what the world was like before Fallout. What's going on at this company? Ooh, what's happening? And however... I think that's going to change in season two because at the end of the season, we learned that uh, the reason why he's even still around, which another great moment was when Lucy asked him, like, why are you even still alive at this point? Like, why would you want to be alive? Um, and they answered that at the end. It's because I guess his family is potentially still out there. But yeah, the, the, now that I know that he's trying to find his family. Okay, now I'm hooked on the, on the character in the modern day. Can't wait to see how that 
plays in, in, in season two. The other character that was really great, uh, which I wasn't necessarily expecting after the first episode, was Norm, Lucy's brother. By the way, played by the actor that played Rico <laughs> in the Anna Montana show, which is kind of fun. But yeah, he was also a very um, integral part of the show. I would argue he's like the fourth main character, even though he doesn't get a title card. <laughs> but yeah, he stays back in Vault 33. And right, it's Vault 33, right? Yeah, Vault 33. <laughs> um, and he sort of uncovers the mystery uh, from his own end. And it kind of links up with the mystery being unfurled in the past as well with, uh, with, with the ghoul's wife. And again, that's one thing to mention about the show is just the, the mystery that gets sets up just got me really invested and really wanting to just keep on watching to to figure out what's going on here and so now let's get to i guess the end where the mystery gets like unraveled and some criticisms or questions because maybe i just don't understand exactly what the show's trying to say when you get to the end it sort of gets revealed that there are companies around the world that purposely drop the nukes in order to make fallout happen so that they can eventually after the fallout mold society to their own making the vaults were initially made as a precaution to nuclear war but at some point they decided that they should just accelerate the process themselves and drop the nukes themselves and that was a cool reveal right what i don't exactly understand is they try to like make it some like weird criticism of capitalism and that's where like the messaging of the show kind of like fell a little flat for me because i'm like that's not a company trying to make more money. That's like these companies trying to become like authoritarian dictators and like taking over the world. At the point that you start dropping nukes, <laughs> you sort of like leave capitalism and the bad things that can come about and you just start going into like authoritarianism or fascism. I feel like the messaging got a little confused at the end when they dropped the behold surprise. It's the corporations, corporations bad. And they're obviously speaking to a lot of the conspiracy theory minded folks that are out there, right? That think that all the big companies in the world are colluding in order to destroy us, blah, 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 right? I'm not going to pretend to be the most knowledgeable when it comes to politics and, you know, the arguments that conspiracy theorists will make. But I feel like this show just isn't portraying how that could eventually play out in the most realistic of fashions, which is fine if you don't want to be realistic, but... To try and, like, make it some epic criticism of capitalism. I don't know. I just felt like it didn't work. I also feel like one thing they did with Maximus at the end didn't exactly work. Where, like, one of the big things that you're wondering throughout the entire series. And it's, like, the bedrock of, like, is Maximus a bad person or not? Is, did he chop off his friend's leg? And... When they reveal that his friend chopped off their own leg? By the way, I don't know if his friend is a boy or a girl. I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just blind or if they're trying to go for some gender ambiguity stuff or whatever. I can't tell, so I'm just gonna say they. When they reveal that they chopped off their own leg, it's like, really? Like, you chopped off your own leg because you were scared of going into the wilds i don't know that seemed like kind of a lazy way of concluding that mystery <laughs> and sort of telling us like no 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 don't worry guys maximus is a good person okay now this next one is a genuine question i don't know if they explained this and i missed it or if it's just something that they're going to reveal in season two how is the rebellion leader lady still alive because she was obviously shown to be alive and she meets walton goggins back in the past and she just looks exactly the same in present day. Now, obviously, the vault tech people have these, like, cryogenic chambers that they're sleeping in. But, like, did that lady also have access to those somehow? Like, I'll be honest. I don't remember if I just missed this explanation or if we're going to find out in a later season. Although the character's dead. So, I I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how she's still alive. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, overall, very, very solid show. I think it gets a little shaky at the end, but... By that point, the show is so good by the end of the last episode that, like, a shaky finale isn't gonna, like, make me not <laughs> enjoy the show. It's not gonna make me not love these characters anymore. And the finale was also not bad by any means. So, um, really enjoyed the show. Very invested in the story. Very invested in the world. Really want to see how it unfurls in, uh, in season two. Very interested to see how... The ghoul finds his family. Like, I wonder if his, like, 
wife is going to be like a villain in the next season cuz she was obviously like with that corporation that was that dropped the nukes like maybe the ghoul has to fight <laughs> against his wife and stop her from enacting her like authoritarian rule or, <laughs> or something like that that would be that would be kind of fun i feel like and i'm also interested to see how lucy and maximus end up like i could kind of see maximus like maybe taking a villainous turn of some kind you know lucy left him and i wonder if maybe he he gets like further invested in the brotherhood of steel and he starts sort of rising the ranks there and like maybe we just see the brotherhood of steel come at odds with whatever the ghoul and lucy uh get up to i i could see something happen there where they where they end up on opposing sides and it's tragic or whatever but yeah uh really like the show let me know what you think about it if you've seen it and i will see you in the next video goodbye goodbye goodbye